Hello and welcome. In this video, we will design a Butterworth filter for given frequency specification. And for transformation technique, we will use here BLT, Bilinear Transformation. Let's start. We know the steps to design the Butterworth filters are First step is calculate the analog H frequencies Ohm P and Ohm S, pass band H frequency and stop band H frequency. Why we need to calculate? Because the given specification for if it is for digital filter and we know that Butterworth filter method is the analog filter designing method. That's why that digital specification we need to convert into the analog specification. Then second step is calculate the order of the filter. To find the H of S transfer function of analog filter we need two parameters order of the filter and minus 3 dB cutoff frequency. That's why second step is calculate the order of the filter and third step is calculate minus 3 dB frequency of filter that is Ohm C. And the second last step is calculate analog transfer function H of S. So here we have designed the, our transfer function using Butterworth filter. This is the analog transfer function. Next step is we need to convert this analog transfer function into the digital transfer function using the transformation technique. Here we are using BLT, bilinear transformation. Let's check the designing specifications. The designing statement is design a digital Butterworth filter that satisfy the following constraint using BLT. Assume T that is the sampling time is equal to 1 second and the designing constraints are mod H of E raised to J omega varies between 0.9 to 1 that is the passband amplitude varies between 0.9 to 1. Ideally amplitude should be 1 in the passband but we can consider some tolerance and that is 0.9. So 0.9 to 1 variation we can tolerate in the passband and the passband frequencies are 0 to pi by 2. Similarly for stop band, this is the stop band H cutoff frequency 3 pi by 4 and ideally the amplitude should be 0 in the stop band but we can consider some tolerance and that is the 0.2. Let's check this uh, specification passband H cutoff frequency. This is the digital passband H cutoff frequency pi by 2. Similarly, stop band H cutoff frequency 3 pi by 4, pass band gain 0 0.9 and stop band gain 0 0.2. If you remember, I told you that the maximum gain is 1 and the pass band gain and stop band gain always less than 1. That's why it is 0 0.9 and 0 0.2. So, first step to design the Butterworth filter is the given specifications are in digital form and we have to obtain the analog specification. That's why we will convert the digital H frequency into the analog H frequency using transformation technique that is the mentioned here is the BLT. So by BLT, the relation between the analog frequency and digital frequency is Ohm is equal to 2 by T tan omega upon 2. We have T is equal to 1 and omega passband H frequency and stop band H frequency we will put. Passband H frequency is pi by 2. So we will put pi by 2 here. T is 1. So it will come twice tan pi by 4 that is the 2 radian. Similarly for stop band H frequency. Digital stop band H frequency is 3 pi by 4. So we will put this value here. T is 1. And it will come 4.828 radian. So we have converted the digital specification to analog specification. And the Butterworth response will look like this. Maximum amplitude 1, passband H frequency 2 radian. And at that gain is 0 0.9. And at stop band H frequency gain is 0 0.2. Now to design a filter means to obtain the H of S transfer function of analog Butterworth filter we need two parameter. First one is the order of the filter and second one is the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency 
ओ हम सी लेट सी सेकेंड स्टेप इज कैलकुलेट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द फिल्टर वी ऑलरेडी डिराइव द फॉर्म्यूला टू फाइंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ बटरवर्थ फिल्टर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो दिस इज द फॉर्म्यूला टू फाइंड द ऑर्डर ऑफ द फिल्टर वी हैव दीज पैरामीटर ए एस ए पी इज द पास बैंड गेन पॉइंट नाइन ए एस इज द स्टॉप बैंड गेन पॉइंट टू ओ हम पी टू रेडियन ओ हम एस फोर पॉइंट एट टू एट रेडियन विल जस्ट पुट दिस वैल्यूज सो टू पुट दिस वैल्यूज विल कैलकुलेट दिस ओ हम एस अपॉन ओ हम पी सेपरेटली सो अवर कैलकुलेशन विल बिकम ईजी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट नाउ विल पुट द वैल्यूज ए एस ए पी एंड दिस ओ हम एस अपॉन ओ हम पी रेशियो एंड द वैल्यू कम्स इज जस्ट सॉल्व दिस विल गेट टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ऑर्डर ऑफ द फिल्टर विल सिलेक्ट इंटीजर वैल्यू जस्ट ग्रेटर इंटीजर ऑफ दिस वन वॉट एवर दिस वैल्यू विल गेट विल सिलेक्ट जस्ट ग्रेटर इंटीजर ऑफ दिस वन सो हियर विल सिलेक्ट एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द माइनस थ्री डी बी कट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ओ हम सी वी हैव डिराइव द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर दैट ओ हम सी इज ओ हम पी डिवाइडेड बाय वन अपॉन ए पी स्क्वेयर माइनस वन रेस टू वन अपॉन ट्वाइस एन एन वी जस्ट कैलकुलेट एंड ए पी इज द पास बैंड गेन वी हैव इट इज पॉइंट नाइन ओ हम पी वी हैव टू रेडियन एंड वील पुट द वैल्यूज टू अपॉन ए पी माइनस वन वन अपॉन ट्वाइस एन एन इज थ्री कैलकुलेट इट एंड वील गेट ओ हम सी इज टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर सेवन सेवन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज ऑप्टेन द एनालॉग ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एच ऑफ एस वंस वी गेट एन एंड ओ हम सी वी कैन डायरेक्टली यूज द जनरलाइज फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट द एच ऑफ एस एंड द जनरलाइज फॉर्मूला इज हियर एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री मीन्स इट इज ऑर्ड इट हैज थ्री पोल्स वेन एन इज थ्री और ऑर्ड ऑलवेज वी हैव वन पोल एट एस इज इक्वल टू माइनस ओ हम सी एंड अदर रिमेनिंग पोल्स आर ऑलवेज कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट पेयर so here we'll use the formula generalize formula for n is odd o hom c raised to n s plus o hom c your real pole and other poles are in a complex conjugate pair n is 3 so 3 minus 1 o hom c is 2.54 n is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 by 2 that is k varies only k is equal to 1 so we need to calculate only b1 so b1 is we know what is bk 2 sin 2k minus 1 k is 1 so we'll calculate b1 b1 becomes 1 we can just put the value of bk here that is 1 b1 and we'll get the h of s this is our h of s the last step is to obtain the digital transfer function from this analog transfer function and for that the transformation technique which we are using is the blt by blt calculate the digital transfer function h of z for that s in h of s we are replacing with this relation and this is the relation by blt S is equal to two by t. T is one. One minus z raised to minus one divided by one plus z raised to minus one. So we'll just replace s in this h of s with this relation, and we'll get this equation. S we have replaced with this relation. T is one. Wherever there is s, we have replaced with this relation, and this is our h of z. We can simplify this. and after simplification we will get this h of s the transfer function of digital butterworth filter for the given specification we can again simplify this h of z so always whenever we will simplify remember that in blt you will find n number of zeros at z is equal to Minus one, n is three. So three number of zeros you will find at z is equal to 
minus 1 whenever we are using BLT. So this is for given frequency specification we are designing a filter using the Butterworth filter method. So first we are converting digital specification to the analog specification using BLT. We have used here the transformation technique BLT and that analog specification we are using to find the order and the minus 3 dB cutoff frequency of Butterworth filter and once we get N and Ohm C we can easily find the analog transfer function H of S by using generalized formula and that H of S we can convert into the H of Z transfer function of digital filter using BLT. This is the technique to design Butterworth filter using BLT for the given frequency specification. Thank you.